got two hands, I can attack either one. To me, I think the top hand is better because number one, if he's on top of my shoulder and controlling my shoulder, that's what's really making me bend at the waist. This bottom hand sport just kind of steers my arm. So anytime I can get top hand, and when I get top hand, I grab all the fingers. And I'm trying to get my elbow tight. Now, if, if for some magical way I could like use his arm to break his other hand off, that's great, but it normally doesn't happen. But I can get back here, most of the time he's gonna kind of bail on his rushing because there's nothing there left for him to control. So they'll attack top hand and get elbow tight, which if I get my elbow tight and just stand here, he might just drop to a single leg. So I gotta be ready for it, okay? All right, I get top hand, my head in the way, and then I'm just going to free this hand. Now, if they attack bottom hand, a lot of times they'll attack bottom hand and go to an underhook, all right? I, I, li I like attacking this wrist right here, attacking these fingers, and underhooking the Russian. Now, what we're gonna do is the minute they attack bottom hand and swim to a Russian, we're gonna drop them on their head with a fireman, okay? The minute they attack bottom hand, okay? So if I'm right here and I'm pushing a bullet moving Sam around, and he pops that bottom hand off and punches a big underhook, even if he drives into me a little bit, it's even better. Boom, just drop, straight through, okay? So just because they beat us on the Russian, doesn't mean I just reset and go back to something completely different, all right? So he's, I got this Russian here, Okay, I'm pushing and pulling. He starts to attack that bottom hand and punch to, a, to punch to an underhook right here, especially if he drives in, all right? Now, you see the difference if he's just kind of blocking with his leg right here? I can't really get to, to my fireman, all right? So we gotta make sure that if he does, right, this leg's not in the way, I can't get to my fireman. So I got this Russian. He pops that bottom hand off right there. Straight into it. Straight into as soon as you feel him dig that underhook, just drop to your knees and just punch that punch that fireman straight over the top. Okay, one last little kind of trick in there to where this guy feels like he's out of the woods because he got the rushing off of me. He gets to a dominant tie and an underhook, and then we just drop him on their head. Question: You might need to see it again one more time. All right, play Brandon, so you see. So again, I got this rushing. We've been we've been off balance. And he gets shot from the snow. He attacks that bottom wrist and he punches that underhook right here. Punch that underhook. As soon as I feel it, boom, rotate through. Knees are dropping straight down. All right, so he attacks that bottom hand, punches that hook right here. Rotate through the hole right into my fire. I don't have to have pressure. If I do, great. If not, no big deal. But I'm just dropping 180 degrees. Boom, right down to that knee. A little bit of a lean. Go!